The last topic for me is bathrooms. I was surprised to find out how little people understand the cost of a bathroom. It seems like most builders build a bathroom as part of the building and the costs are often not well quantified. But bathrooms are a significant cost. For example, in some multifamily garden style buildings, the bathroom can account for as much as 15 or 20 percent of the overall cost. So again, as we look to build better buildings and build them faster and less expensively, we had to look at bathrooms. For construction projects lasting nine months to 18 months, the bathroom is not typically on the critical path. But when you're trying to build a building in 90 days, the bathroom could be on the critical path. So in order to address both the cost and schedule impact of bathrooms, we established a goal. Our goal was to develop bathroom processes that would allow us to build a bathroom at 50% of the cost today without compromising on the quality of the materials and to have a bathroom solution that could be installed in less than a day. And I want to I pause on that a little bit because it's an approach that is not typical. To start by setting a very aggressive goal of reducing costs by 50% and, and having a bathroom be able to be installed in, in less than a day. We initially considered purchasing modular bathrooms. Our intention initially was not necessarily to design and manufacture bathrooms. We started off thinking we can acquire modular bathrooms from the typical manufacturers. After evaluating about a dozen modular bathroom manufacturers, both in the US and in China, it was clear that none of these would be able to achieve the goal of a 50% cost reduction. Modular approaches are good, but they are not optimized for, total, for lowest total costs, which includes manufacturing, logistics, and construction. So we decided, therefore, to do our own. Now, I'll digress a little bit to talk about level of completion, and I'll come back to, say, to show how that relates to bathrooms. Level of completion is a concept that is very important in Katerra. Level of completion refers to the transition of as much as possible from the field into the factory. So you try to complete as much of the work as possible in a factory environment where you can control quality, reduce costs, have less impact on building condition, um, weather conditions, etc. And level completion is typically applied to walls. Most, most times people in the industry use the term level of completion, it applies to wall panels. But we are expanding this concept to look at subsystems as well within the building. So as we looked at the bathroom, our optimization strategy centered upon two things. One, increased levels of completion, but also leveraging the concept of the factory and the construction site being extensions of each other. Oftentimes, when people look at doing stuff in a factory, they can sometimes swing the pendulum too far to one side. By leveraging both of these concepts, we were able to partition the activities for the bathroom so that we could optimize what should be done in a factory, reduce logistics costs, and then do what should be done in a construction site. Without changing a single thing in the bill of materials, our technology team developed a bath kit product that is designed to be assembled in less than a day by two people. In fact, we believe that this is gonna take less than four hours to install. And we are able to achieve this by including creative shipment techniques, higher levels of factory completion, as I mentioned, and streamlined installation processes on the construction site. The bathroom kit includes everything needed to finish the bathroom, with some of them being pre-assembled on the manufacturing floor. It incorporates walls. Everything within this bathroom kit is used in the bathroom. So even the crate, the walls of the crate becomes part of the bathroom wall. All of the components are protected. 
One of the challenges in building bathrooms in the field today is the amount of damage and loss that happens. We are able to protect against that. When the kit is finished being assembled in the factory, it is wrapped and shipped. When it arrives at the job site, it is placed in position and all of the materials are in this one container, making it easy to install. The work instructions are repeatable, and as we work on more and more of these, we think we'll be able to get the times done even faster. But you can see the bathroom arrives, the shipping and packaging is removed, the tub and shower are placed, vanity and casework is placed in position, the floor and the toilet are installed, and then all the finishes. Four hours later, you have a bathroom with higher level of organization, streamlined processes, standardization, elimination of waste. We have significantly reduced the cost of the bathroom and achieved the goals that we set. The bathroom is a great example of what we can do utilizing this approach, but we are not done. Next is kitchens. And while I hope you are impressed with what we've been able to do with bathrooms, I guarantee you that we'll blow your minds with what we can do with kitchens. We have now finalized on our initial concept after testing multiple innovative approaches, and we expect to have our first prototypes of a kitchen kit within about 45 days and be in volume production in the summer. We are piloting the bath kits today, in fact, they're being done right here in Las Vegas at one of our construction sites. And we expect to be ramping this thing up. And this year we'll be producing thousands of bath kits and, and using them in our own buildings. Thank you.